Hello everyone, welcome to the channel and to this inbox review of the 172 scale Nanshang Q5G from Trumpeter. Okay, the Nanshang Q5. Uh, it's a Chinese built aircraft that is based on the Soviet MiG-19 from the beginning. And uh, the NATO reporting name is Fantan. And uh, the, um, this specific version, the G version, is a torpedo attacker or dedicated uh, naval ground attack aircraft. So, um, so yeah, let's uh, have a look at the gift box. And we see that it's a kit with uh, 90 plus pieces, uh, 172 scale. We have a picture of the illustration of the aircraft. And the kit number is 01684. And here you can see um, an illustration of the, the, the torpedoes and um, yeah and if we open up the box we have instructions we have a paint callout some advertisement we have a single molded tail part. We have one, two, three, four, five sprues. We have what I guess is clear pots. And we have a small fret of footage and decals. Okay, so all the plastic sprues comes in individually uh, packed in poly bags like this, and they are heat sealed, so they are not resealable. Okay, yeah, uh, as you can see here, there are areas here that are, that are opened up, so uh, they are probably using, been using um, uh, sliding tools for, uh, for this. And um, as you can see, the details are absolutely fantastic on the on the top side here. I am a little bit concerned how much of that is preserved after, after filling and sanding the, the seam here on the on the center line. But um, yeah, that's another problem. <laughs> but everything looks really nice. Uh, this is a, quite an interesting Solution so we have a parting line in the middle of the of the uh, Front landing gear or nose landing gear bay here, but uh, yeah, I guess that's okay All right um, Apart from that I think that They have done a really good job with some detailing on the insides here of the um, I guess this is the the hatches for the um, uh, landing gear bay okay well 
Yeah. This is. Quite interesting. I wonder if the, these are options for uh, for this different types of assembly or the different types of the aircraft, maybe. Okay, uh, so we have a sort of main main compartment for uh, stores, I guess, and uh, hatches for those. The details looks really nice and they have really as you can see there are a lot of of rivets and uh, very nice details so there is no flash or burr everything looks really nice Yeah, and um, the air intakes. This is a quite an interesting way of doing it, but uh, everything looks really nice. And uh, there are no marks for uh, anything from uh, from the from the molding, so they they look really good. I really like that they have um, that they have added some details on the on the inside of the of the landing gear doors. Yeah, and the wheels look um, nice too. Single molded part, but I guess that's. Uh, Nothing unusual for the 172 scale. Yeah, looking good. And here we have the main wings. Yeah, and they look really great. They have um, made recessions here for um, for the wing fences uh, in photo etch. And the details look really nice, I think. There is a little bit of detail in the um, in the main uh, landing gear wells here as well. So that's nice. Apart from that, everything looks really nice. There are a couple of ejection pin marks, but they are not uh, protruding, so uh, I don't think you need to do any any cleanup. Looks good. And here we have the um, vertical stabilizer, I guess, or the tail fin. 2 part piece that you uh, glue together. Same thing here. Everything looks really nice and uh, no uh, protruding ejection pin marks so uh, yeah it should probably go together without any issues uh, we have one sprue with all the stores or weapons and um, uh, drop tanks there are uh, the torpedoes and also rockets I think I think that, that was mentioned as well in the instructions 
on the on the, on the box art. Um, I really like that they have um, <clears throat> divided the, the torpedo into two different segments here so you can get get all the details. Um, that's that's nice. I wonder how they paint that. Do if you paint it uh, as a separate part and then put it together or if if you mask it. Well, we will have to sort that out when we start building this. Okay, and finally we have this uh, single molded part. Um, and I understand why they, <laughs> why they did it like this. But this looks uh, absolutely gorgeous. lot of really nice detail in they have preserved the um, the complex shape of the of the tail or the exhaust hmm yeah I like that and finally we have the clear parts and they have been well Protect, they are well protected with uh, foam and uh, a separate bag. Okay. Yep, there are some really nice details here. If you can see that there is a sort of texture on the on the side here, I guess that the that the masking of this will be a little bit challenging. See if I can. If I can show that. And The windscreen looks. So, whoops. The windscreen looks uh, really nice as well. Also, a little bit of a complex masking. Uh, so, I don't know if there are any masking kits for this, but uh, I uh, I will probably have to uh, to make my own, I guess with my silhouette portrait. Um, especially if I'm going to mask it like the the um, so, so it follows the, the the textured parts as well. Then uh, you, I mean I can't I can't just use a knife and cut that. I have to to make it in a cutting machine. But that's um, yeah. But that's no uh, big issue if you have a silhouette portrait. All right. Uh, the photo etch that comes uh, supplied with the kit is packed in a separate bag with uh, with thick paper as uh, protection. And uh, the the sheet, the metal sheet, is also covered with a protective. Um, uh, plastic film so and if we look at the details uh, we have um, uh, detailing for the engine and some wing fences and what I believe also is uh, small pieces of uh, a photo etch that goes into to the cockpit and uh, everything looks uh, really nice. A 
decals are also um, um, individually packed and uh, there, there's also a protective paper that is taped in place so you don't lose it and that is also a good thing I think let's see if I can and um, for an aircraft it's not much uh, <laughs> um, decals but we have markings, Chinese markings and numbers and uh, also uh, instrument panel um, uh, decal so yeah okay we start looking at the assembly instruction we see on the first page an illustration of the aircraft and some basic scale modeling information with uh, symbols for different steps and um, actions and on the second page we have a sprue uh, call out and we start with the uh, step number one we see which is of course uh, assembly of the um, cockpit and then we move on to um, the internal bay and uh, assembly of the fuselage halves assembly of the wings and, um, and the engine uh, sub-assembly the, the, the tailpiece and uh, yeah, uh, the uh, head up display, and we are basically assembling the whole aircraft at step number five. And after that, we move into the small parts like the undercarriage, wing fences, uh, antennas. Um, yeah, a couple of small parts here, antennas and uh, some kind of uh, light, maybe navigation light. And we have the um, Okay, so this is the one, the part that you will use this. Uh, so you will basically cover the whole internal bay here. All right. So there's probably no, there's no need to paint that <laughs> because you will cover it up with uh, th this uh, internal bay is probably not used in this uh, type of, of aircraft since it's, it's a torpedo attacker it, it will only have stores on, on the wings I guess okay so now we have a ventral fin here or two of them actually uh, yeah and um, ah, the pylons yes I was wondering what that was but that that is the pylons all right and finally we have the weapons and the configuration options are very simple uh, yeah there are no options basically but of course you can do whatever you want if you only want to use the, the rockets or all the, the torpedoes then it's up to you uh, continue with um, paint um, call out and the paints are Mr. Hobby Paints, uh, Vallejo, Model Master, Tamiya and Humbron and everything looks really nice and simple You have a um, couple of options here for the torpedoes if you want to. I think this, this one looks really cool with the uh, with, um, uh, red detail on the front.
And here's another scheme. Um, this one was uh, a single color, but this one has a painted nose cone. Yeah, I think it looks nice. Okay, so what is my impression of this kit? I must say that my expectations of this kit was quite high since it's a Chinese built aircraft and a Chinese manufacturer. And I, I think that uh, Trumpeter had fulfilled their promise here. They have done a great job with detailing and uh, the plastic part looks really great, I think. Uh, where the single molded tailpiece and the fuselage details uh, sort of stands out. And I also like that they have packed everything in individual poly bags and protected delicate parts like the tailpiece, uh, the photo edge fret and the clear parts. My only concern build-wise is the centerline seam on the fuselage. Uh, since the dorsal spine features a lot of intricate details, um, they might be difficult to describe uh, if you need to uh, fill and sand uh, that part of the model. And there is only one thing that I miss and that is the masking set for the windscreen and canopy. Since uh, this uh, seems a little bit uh, difficult to mask. The part count is quite low and the build seems to be simple enough for a novice, but uh, the photo edge parts may require some tools and skills that might suit the intermediate builder better. Anyway, I'm sure that this will, this will go together into a beautiful Q5 Phantom and uh, I will start building this uh, quite soon actually as a build series. So uh, with that I want to say thank you for watching. Keep on modeling and I see you in the next episode. Goodbye.